Hello folks and welcome to your next semi-exciting episode of our uh, 1000 euro EV uh, bill challenge project thingy. So let's get this thing fired up and uh, then we'll see if we got some power steering and if we get some power steering I'm going to tell you how we got power steering. Um, so I hope that makes sense. So first thing, oh almost forgot. These things don't go to plan. Let's put a tray in here. All right. So first thing you want to do is add some fluid. And we're going to fill it right up to the top there, because when we start the pump, uh, it's going to run dry pretty quickly. Um, getting the fluid circulated so let's hope we've no leaks and uh, all right let's start the pump um, okay then gentlemen start your pumping oh we're running out of juice Let's do it. Good sign so far, guys. It's still getting out the air, I would imagine. So I'm going to go roll the wheel around a bit. Pretty good so far, guys. Um, no, no leaks. All right, let's do one more start up. Wow. All right. So that is in, woohoo, and working. So, all right, let's shut her down at that, and let's uh, let's have a closer look. All righty. So hopefully that gives us a better view of what we got going on here. Um, so what I'm going to be uh, talking about today is our solution for providing power steering. Um, on our thousand euro project car now the assembly that you see here is a very very common part it's a 12 volt electric power steering pump uh, from an, an Opel Zafira B um, these pumps are probably about the best uh, way that I have found to date uh, to retrofit um, electrically driven um, hydraulic power steering uh, to a conversion project. Conveniently, it also uh, turns out to be the cheapest way that I have found to date. Now, these pumps, I get them on eBay, uh, the UK eBay. This one here, including shipping, cost me 26 euros. So that was for the, the pump um, 
as assembly the whole the whole thing shipped here to me was 26 euros they do vary there's recon ones on there for several hundred but we're just looking for uh, one that just came off a breakers yard car um, so very uh, very compact um, in here you've got a fluid re reservoir you've got a hydraulic pump and you have a complete control system and a three phase AC motor in there with a whole bunch of control electro electronics. And unlike some newer pumps and parts that you see on more modern vehicles, this one is extremely simple to use. Um, the pressure port is an M16 by 1.5 uh, thread. Uh, so you can readily get a hydraulic fitting that'll screw in there as I have done uh, So I got an M16 to quarter BSP um, Just a straight through fitting uh, on the BMW steering rack uh, the pressure side is an I remember this now M 14 by 1.5 tread so again I could just get a straightforward adapter to quarter BSP screw that into the two sides or so one on the steering rack one on the pressure side of the pump with a copper washer uh, and some tread lock tighten them down um, got a hydraulic hose made uh, just two 90 degree swivel fittings on that about 700 mil long cost me 10 euros um, and then the return side um, let's bring you guys down here and be able to see this a bit better okay hope you can see that now on the return side I simply cut off the banjo fitting from the original uh, power steering pipes that would have been going around here uh, put some good quality reinforced holes on that with a jubilee clip and just bring that back up here uh, to the return connection on the power steering pump uh, there's no pressure basically on the return line so you can just use normal jubilee clip uh, fittings for that so we got our pressure and our return uh, connected to the valve here and uh, then we just run them back up to the pump um, so what we need to do then up on the pump side So up on the pump side then, uh, we have some electrical connections. The brown is basically ground. Uh, the red, you can't really see it there, it's kind of covered with a bit of PVC insulation, but it, the red wire is your plus 12 volts DC permanently. I usually put a 50 amp fuse on these because uh, the pump will take 40 to 50 amps when you're on lock. Um, there's a little tail then that has three wires here. Uh, one of them is a brown and a, wh and a white stripe. Uh, you basically don't use that. Uh, the, uh, the other two, uh, there's a black and a blue with a, wh with a white stripe. You just, um, I just twist those together. And when you want to turn the pump on, just give those guys 12 volts and the pump does everything. Turn on, spool up, and then when you turn off the power to these wi wi wires here, uh, the pump shuts down, as you could see. Um, so this is our power steering system. So 26 euros for the pump, tenner for the pressure holes, so that's 36. Probably make it 50 bucks, um, allowing for the fittings and a bit of return line and things like that. So very cheap way and a very effective way uh, to get power steering um, back into both this vehicle and I've used this on uh, I've used this on the Panzer um, and a few other conversion projects and it works extremely well now I know some of you guys were suggesting that I should do away with the power steering and kind of loop the hoses in there Yes, that would be a very cheap way, be 
for virtually zero cost. Um, but I like power steering and I like power brakes and I like having uh, the car working kind of as well as it did uh, when it was powered by our horrible diesel engine. By the way, which I did sell uh, if eventually. Uh, we will have a video coming up on the budget very soon. Uh, so we'll be seeing where we stand. Uh, hopefully I haven't blown the budget just yet. Um, so this is our power steering system up and running. The reason I wanted to set this up before we go putting in motors and all that is I want to see if that rack leaks because if it does I'm going to need to change it and it's a lot easier to uh, unbolt that ra rack now and change it than when I have a motor in here and I've got batteries and I've got cabling and boxes and all kinds of crazy stuff going on in here so that's what I want to do because this was a horrible oily mess and I pressure washed the whole engine bay I uh, got rid of most of that crud, but I just want to make sure that nothing leaks from our new fittings here on the uh, valve and that none of these seals, or that not, none of these rack seals have failed here. Um, none of these pipes are cracked or leaking. So just want to catch anything like this in the bud now. Alrighty, so hope you've enjoyed that, that one. Uh, we will be back soon. Uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Check the links in the description uh, for my Patreon and PayPal should you wish to financially support this and other crazy pro projects that I have going on. Um, also link in the description to my GitHub where you can download loads of free open source stuff. And uh, yeah, so we will see you guys in the next video. Uh, don't do anything too crazy. And um, happy power steering. <laughs>